Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Today we're going to do that video I talked about in a previous video. This is our chasing Gladius Mini underwater drone. And we've had this for a long time. This is the first time we actually got it out in the water. Although we have tested it in the bathtub a couple of times. Yes, really, we have. And really quick, let me just say, this is the wrong time of year for clear water in my area. Things are so murky and mucky, and you see it here in this pond we are in. With everything going on, we haven't been able to get to the nice blue clear waters of Hawaii, but, you know, that hopefully will change very soon. So this video really speaks for itself. You can see how dirty the water is. You can see with the headlights on, just the stuff, sediment floating in the water. And as you're driving through the water, you're sailing through the water, you just can't see anything. And then when you lower down to the bottom of the pond, you want to be, you know, not on the bottom, but a little bit up where the fish are. There is so much silt and sediment that it just stirs it up. Oh, just horrible. All right, so looking at the screen here, most of the time we rested down at about 1.8 meters down, and I'm just off the bottom, probably about 6 to 8 inches. This pond has bass in it. It is stocked with trout and some pretty good-sized trout. But all we saw today is carp. Yeah, ugh. Something else, the resolution of this video doesn't look as spectacular as you would expect. And, yeah, that's a little disappointing. Number one, it's because the silt and the sediment. But number two, the original file size, this is actually two videos, the original file size was 11.2 gig for a 21 or 22 minute video. And then I realized, oh man, I'm still recording. I should have broke that up into smaller videos as I was recording. Unlike the GoPro, this doesn't break it up into smaller video segments. So with one that's just over 11 gig and the other one, the seven, some seven and a half minute long video was like 3.67, 3.7 gig. It was a horrible file size to work with because remember the controller is tethered to the underwater drone the memory card is permanently mounted in the underwater drone kind of like you know a poor man's hard drive the phone unlike some of the higher quality aerial drones and very much like the cheap ones isn't hardwired to the controller you know it's talking to it as either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to the controller so when you're done sailing around down here and you want to save the video to your phone you bring it up in the app you find the video you select it it brings it to another page to download to your phone remember at this point it is still in the drone then when you hit the download button it starts downloading it from the drone through the cable to your controller Wi-Fi to your phone <laughs> oh man if it was hard cabled to the phone it would be quicker because you know a hard cable drone controller to the phone it would be like a you know straight up good solid link not the case number two the mp4 video which I love mp4 video the codec they're using some of my software is having trouble reading it I never have problem with mp4s I'm having problem with this mp4 and not just the file size of 11 or so gig but also the 3.6 gig. It's having trouble. So I had to convert it. Well, what I need to actually do next time is I need to get into the drone and set the camera settings. I don't think I'm in 4K. These video files look like it's 4K size. I think I'm just in 1080, but man. And in order to do that, you need to turn on the controller, hook it to the drone, turn on the drone, turn on your phone, start the app, and then talk to it that way. And then, you know, man, just a pain. With all that said, my solution will be not to make videos that are seven and a half minutes long or 21 and a half minutes long. Even at this high resolution, if I leave them at, you know, two or three minute long videos, they will be reasonably sized between one and a half and two gig. It just makes it a lot easier to move smaller files around. Now, like I said, we are very disappointed with the how murky the water is, but really I'm thinking the camera is doing a really good job for as murky as this water is. 
So in some clear water, or even some semi-clear water, this should be really good video. Now if you go to the Chasing website, they have an upgraded version of this. So a new version is coming out. And the differences are, well, instead of $12.99, it's $15.99. You know, so $300 difference, you say, oh, 300 more dollars, it's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money but it has some very distinct differences and they're differences that I actually think are worth the extra money. Number one, it has a removable micro SD card, not a permanently mounted one. Because what happens if that SD card corrupts down permanently mounted in your thing? Can you get in there? I don't know. It's supposed to be non-removable. Will you be able to wiggle your way in? Uh, maybe, maybe not. But since the new version of this drone has a removable card, problem solved. Number two, the cable on this goes down right on the top. The cable on the newer version comes right in on the rear end of it. So that will help a little bit in some tangling. We didn't have any real tangling in the water with this. I mean, I'm super impressed, but when I got the cable the tether there up on shore it was like a rat's nest it was like hanging Christmas lights of oh it was a big knot it was horrible and they make a solution to that it's another eight hundred dollars it's a power reeler and you know what when I said eight hundred dollars for a thing that reels it in that's unheard of I won't pay it and it, and it rolls it on the spool and it sorts it for you and I said I'm not gonna pay that and then after using this one time I'm saying yeah I'm gonna spend eight hundred dollars on that just no problem it's a no-brainer it will make it night and day that much better. Okay, now on the new upgraded version, there's one other thing it has. It has, get this, it has a GoPro mount upside down on the bottom of it, a GoPro mount. So yes, you can put a GoPro camera down there and you can also hook a claw there and you hook the claw to that GoPro mount and then it cables up for the power at another spot, you know, farther up on the drone and then you have a claw. Up till now, you had to upgrade to the next level up. It's called the M2, the Chasing M2, and it's a square drone. It's an eight-motor drone, unlike this being a five-motor drone, and it had the claw hookup, and it had a GoPro camera or light hookup, and that one has rails that you can hook extra lights to because you're really going to need it in dark water. You know, better quality lights, better quality camera than what's mounted, you know, in the drone. I don't know what that one cost now or if they're upgrading that too, but I think that was around $2,600, $2,700. And my plan always was if I really like this one, I was going to upgrade to that one. Yes, it's a lot of money, but there's something else really cool about that one. It has a removable battery. So you can zoom around and do your thing and then when the battery gets low, you can surface, you can swap that battery out and stick a new one in. Do I know how much a new battery costs? No. Will it be several hundreds of dollars? Well, yes, because there's nothing that's you know cheap when it comes to these things. I don't recall how long the battery lasts in that M2, but all the paperwork says the battery in this model lasts, this Gladius Mini, lasts about two hours, one hour if you're using the lights on bright and you're really tooling around. But what I found is, you know, my vast experience of using this one time and then, you know, here and then two times in the bathtub, is you drive out to the location you're going to be, you submerge, you see something, and then you lie in wait. Because you're not going to be driving around and chasing fish. It's, it's going to be hard. But when you go to where you see some fish or fish would be congregating, and then you just idle there, and something else I really didn't like, and it's not... Well, I don't say it's not Chasing's fault, but maybe it is. On this day, it's kind of a cloudy, semi-partly sunny, partly cloudy day. It's not a really bright day, but there's so much glare on my phone, and I forgot that little hood you put over there. They don't have one with this kit. It's an aftermarket with them little shrouds you put over there. So when you're flying your drone, you can see the screen. And is why I say it might be their fault. Well, number one, they didn't include one. I had to buy one aftermarket on Amazon. They're like 14 bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. So they're not expensive. But on the screen, there is so much data. It's written really small that on, unless you got, you know, a really dark day or a, a hood or something, a shroud over that, you can't see all the data. It tells you the depth. It tells you the angle. How you're angled. Do you looking up? You looking down? 
where you are. I mean, it gives you all that information. Uh, you can set your speed. You turn the brights on the light, or the, the light's brighter. There's so much stuff you can do, but it's so small on the phone that unless you were using like a netbook or a laptop or a tablet or something with a much bigger screen, you you need it to be so you can see it. And with any glare at all, it just made it too hard to see the small stuff. Hopefully, when I come out next time, I'll find a place with clear water and I will bring that little hood, you know, so I can see what I'm doing. You can hook goggles to this, and I'm really thinking of getting some goggles and doing that, but the problem is of using goggles, beans, hush. Beans, hush. The problem with using goggles is, as you're goggling away driving, somebody can come and mug you or stab you or shoot you because you don't know they're sneaking up on you. Yeah, that sucks. All right, so this video... It's a little disappointing that the water was so murky, but we finally got it out in the real water, so we got that going for us. All right, so if you heard of one of these, if you've seen one, do you think it's stupid? Do you wish we had better water? Did you want one of these for yourself? Leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Mr. 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>